Hi Yogans, this is Amanda Shepard and welcome to Play Along Practice. Um, this week I was thinking about the idea of stepping into yourself, so we'll probably do some hip opening. Um, always check the description to see what it is that uh, I actually get up to because I let it evolve. And just make sure that you are physically able, um, maybe with an approval from your doctor, to do some fairly rigorous asana. Um, yeah, and let's get started. Um, usual suspects for props, a blanket, a couple blocks, and a strap. And um, we're gonna start uh, laying on your mat, Ardha Shavasana, Shavasana, or Constructed Rest, any one of those. Um, and let's get going. leg variation you choose. Allow the shoulders to be nice and soft. Right? We don't want them rigid. And take a moment to lengthen the spine. Let it become neutral. And as you're breathing here, just start to even out the breath. the very core of the body, allowing it to evolve from the belly to the chest. Emptying the opposite way, like a nice even wave. There's no rip tides. Super smooth. Take a scan and relax again. Notice what's feeling holding. What's in a holding pattern? Maybe that's your body telling you to send some um, attention to that area. Just take a couple more breaths here. As you exhale, just draw the knees up. Take your hands behind your knees and just start to row your knees like a boat. And then go the opposite direction. It doesn't really matter which direction you're going in your body of water. And then Ananda Balasana, happy baby pose. If you have a hard time finding your feet, you can grab your shins or even your hamstrings, right? You want your spine nice and long on the mat here. And be able to spread the collarbones wide and keep the sacrum on the earth as much as the shoulder blades are. It's not a back bend, so draw the belly in. You can rock side to side, maybe draw one heel in and reach the opposite leg away. Don't worry about forcing the legs straight. Maybe they will get straight in time, maybe they won't. It's all fine. And as you're rocking here, let your head go the other way. Inhale through center, exhale. Turn over the other side. Maybe one more each direction. And then on to Balasana. Again, you're gonna keep the right leg where it is. One of my favorite ways to start opening the hips, reach the left leg nice and long. And reach your left arm out to the side. Notice if your chest is 
uneven as you scoop your hip under. So the torso is nice and even. Nice deep inhale here. As you exhale, reach that left arm overhead. And then allow the right leg to extend. You're gonna reach the right arm out to the side. Nice deep inhale here. I'm just gonna turn my thumb up and reach for the ankle. Inhale, I'm gonna half circumduct the arm out to the side. Exhale, reach. Maybe hover that left leg. Find a little bit of a twist. Belly button in the spine as you do it. I think that's four. Then you go five. And then let's just hold here. We're gonna pulse for five more. So you go five, four, three, two, one. Flex the foot. Grab the outer edge of the foot or the outside edge of the knee. Dancing Shiva, twisting across the body. Maybe square your chest to the sky and get nice and long in that right side wrist. Nice deep inhale here, back through center. Kind of grab the big toe, Yogi Chola. You can use a strap if you want. Turn your toes out and reach that heel out to the side. Raise the leg to the sky, you're gonna bend the knee. And then let's reach your fingers up. Nice deep inhale here. As you exhale, draw the left leg in, reach the right leg away. Now see if you can protract your shoulders. So you're gonna reach your fingers towards the sky. You might even lift your head a little bit if you want and do that again. A couple times. Nanda Balasana, happy baby pose. Sacrum nice and even on the floor. And go the other way, opposite heel in first. Turn your head the other direction. Just a few times to each side. center. You're going to keep the left leg where it is, right leg nice and long. Scoop that left hip under. So you don't want it out to the side. You want it nice and straight on the floor. The thigh is going down to the outside of my ribs. Knee is towards my armpit. And I'm going to reach the right arm out to the side and then um, up and overhead. Allow the left leg to lengthen. Nice deep inhale here. Turning my thumb up as I exhale. I'm gonna twist. Hover that right heel inside, up and out. Exhale, right arm overhead, and then to the side. Three, four, glue in your belly to the spine. Five, and we're gonna pulse for five, five, four, three, two, one. Outside edge of the foot or outer knee. Dancing Shiva. Nice and long, right? So you don't want this. You want that left sits bones facing your right heel and your chest even at the sun. Inhale back through center, find your toe lock, index middle finger, seal it with your thumb, turn your heel out, and reach that leg out to the side. Now what is what happens to the hips? So they become askew, and they might maybe scoop that left hip under a little bit. Right. Inhale back to sky. I'm gonna bend the knee and I'm gonna see if I can reach my fingers towards the sky. Scoop the belly in. I'm just going to protract those shoulders and then switch, 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 switch. Left knee over, right, go Mukhasana legs, separating. The shins nice and parallel. And bring them in towards your chest. 
going to open the hamstring on that left leg. I'm going to let my shoulders hover right heel comes down and eventually the shoulder blades come to the earth. You should feel right here like this. Nice deep inhale here. Reach your arms long. Hover that right leg. I'm going to scoop the belly and I'm just going to switch and switch and switch and switch and switch left knee under right separating the feet we're gonna say from even right so it wants to kind of wiggle around keep it even Bring the knees to the chest so you feel the outside of that right hip And then hover that left leg, shoulder blades lift off the floor as you hang. And as you exhale, let the shoulder blades down. No jutting the chin, right? You're not on the top of the head. You want the very back of the head down. Spread your collarbone and let your leg bone draw in deeper to the body to bring the thigh closer to your chest. And exhale, hover. And switch, and switch, and switch, and switch. Both legs to sky. Nice deep inhale. Lift on up. And you're just going to allow the right heel to come down and bring the left heel in towards your sit bones. I'm going to take a nice deep inhale here and reach that right arm out to the side and let that left arm come up and forward. Come in. Left ribs lifting into the sun. I'm going to even it out. And then from here, I'm going to swoop and reach around. Marachasana A. Allow the leg to lift. You can rock the baby here. You can swaddle the baby. Try to get the leg more parallel if you're not feeling anything out of the hip and then maybe across the body. And if this is not enough for you, and it might not be, maybe you gently scoop down. Do those same actions, leg parallel, and let the foot come across the body. And then you can probably find here. Next, you're going to reach your right leg to sky. See if you can reach your arms forward. Hook your toes around your right arm. And imagine you've got a beach ball and you're going to roll it towards you. Nice deep inhale here. Exhale. And with your next inhale, come on up. Do this kind of Vasana variation. Let the feet meet. Bring the left heel down, right foot steps, and reach that left arm out to the side. Right arm out over. Breathing here. Nice deep inhale here. I'm lifting up. I'm going to get nice and even on the side waist. And then as I exhale, I'm going to swoop around. Finding my clasp. If my fingers find the outer waist it'll be easy to reach around for the clasp but they don't you can use a strap or skip it come on up rock the baby this might be enough maybe you swaddle the baby keep reaching the inner radio away keep the foot flexed knee and toe is even if you don't feel any stretch if you do feel stretch, you can just stay here. As you exhale, roll it down. Let the leg get more parallel and across the midline. Oh, that's awesome. And then, I'm gonna scooch my toes around. 
Oh, I'm gonna reach the, sorry, I'm gonna reach the left leg to the sky, scooch my toes around. Imagine I'm rolling a beach ball towards the body. Exhale completely, and then with your next inhale, lift that chest to the sky and find this Navasana variation. Beautiful. Folding the left heel in, stepping the right leg over, Ardha Matsya Andrasana. Left arm to sky, absorb those ribs into the body and swoop around for your twist. Bring up nice and tall. Look over the right shoulder, look over your left shoulder. And then from here, Carve it to Surya and Tross and make a letter C with your right hand. And reach that knee over the shoulder. Grab my ankle, heel, or foot, or strap. And lift that up. Roll the right ribs towards the left. Absorb the left ribs in. Nice deep inhale here. As you exhale, keep that knee on top of the leg. Plant your palms elephant trunk and then bring it down just gonna switch it up I'm gonna fold that right heel back step the left foot up reach up nice and tall elongate the side waist here and then as you exhale twist and swoop around Look over the left shoulder. Look over the right shoulder. Parvita Surya Trasana. Make a letter C. Connect it to your calf. And reach that knee over the shoulder. Find your clasp. You know, it doesn't matter how high it is. If your knee doesn't go all the way over your shoulder, it's just over your elbow, you can still do this. The leg will just be out to the side more. It's all right. Feel tall. Nice deep inhale here. Reclasp the calf. Plant your palms. I'm gonna push down, maybe. Reach the right leg forward. Exhale, come on down. Left leg floats forward. Paschimottanasana. Inhale, extend the spine. Exhale, folding in. If you need a block, you can grab one. Rolling your inner thighs towards the earth here. And then with your inhale, come on back up. And come on forward. And allow yourself to invite your pet cow. Spread your toes nice and wide. And root into your hands. You're gonna keep the top of the foot on the floor and lift up into an Adho Mukha Svanasana variation. It's gonna allow you to stretch out the transverse arch back and forth, right to left. And then roll over the toes, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Pedaling out the feet, whatever feels good. Nice deep inhale here as you exhale, belly to spine, shoulders over the rest. Come on forward, plank pose. Push down and round, flex your foot to step it up and open up simple twists. Right arm to sky, circle back the shoulder. As you exhale, left knee comes down. I like to turn the right toes out personally. I'm gonna bend that left knee, bring the heel towards the outer hip. And then kick the foot into the hand. 
Nice deep inhale here as you exhale. Turn the toes forward, Ardha Hanumanasana. Low, uh, reach the left heel back. Frame the front foot. I'm on my fingertips. Nice deep inhale here as I exhale. Jump switch. Simple twist. Absorbing the left ribs in, rolling the right ribs towards the left inner thigh. And then just circumduct that shoulder. Allow the right knee to come down, maybe turn the left toes out. Heel towards the other hip. Kick the foot into the hand. Exhale. Ardha Hanumanasana. Step on up. I'm on my fingertips. You can do palms flat if you have long arms. Go ahead and do that. Nice deep inhale here. The exhale. Jump switch. Jump switch again. And through your vinyasa. Inhale, cobra up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Shake your head, yes or no. Come on forward, plank pose. Step that left foot up. Open up to a nice simple twist. Breathing here. Giant circles. Maybe turn the left toes out, let the right knee come down, maybe on your forearm this time. Uttana Kastasana, all the variations that you like or the ones that you, maybe you try a new one today. Good, exhale. Hmm. Let my chest line up with the heel for a moment. Hanumanasana. I'm going to let that left foot come down and I'm going to jump switch. I want to keep the um, torso pretty even, right? So it's not like a, it's not kicking your butt into the air. And stay pretty low. Simple twist. Maybe coming down to your forearm. you let go, maybe allowing yourself to explore your range of motion. Come on back, Ardha Hanumanasan. Let the right foot come down just for your transition. And we're going to jump, twist, jump switch twice. <sighs> Breathing here. Plant your palms through your vinyasa. Float that right leg back, open the hip, couple hip circles. Go over under your left arm, see your toes. If you like that balance that I love to do, maybe. Float that right arm. And let the hand come down. As you exhale, come onto the ball of the left foot. And step that right foot to the outside of the right fingertips. Nice deep inhale here as you exhale. See if you can draw the leg bone into the socket and step it up. Finding Malasana, find your split. Breathing here. This pose looks different for everyone. It really depends on your hips, how the shape, what shape they are. If your heels are way off the floor, you can stick your blanket underneath them. All right, so if your heels lift up like this, always place your 
heels on a blanket don't really even that up. Makes it more accessible. Maybe let your feet come wider. And drop that right shoulder to the inside. Fly the arms. And maybe find the clasp. Trying to elongate the spine. Trying to lengthen as you twist. Nice deep inhale here. I'm gonna reach my booty back, lift that right heel and peel, show that left foot in. And step on up, flamingo pose. Keeping that right knee in towards the side of the body. And then as I exhale, the Urbhadrasana three. Step it back, plant your palms, we're going to jump switch. If you don't like jump switching, you can just step switch, right? I'm going to do three of your vinyasa. Inhale, cobra up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. So left leg back, open the hip. Burn through your right arm. Maybe float that left arm to sky. I'm gonna lift the, <coughs> bring the left hand down, lift the right heel, bring it back down. Maybe keep the heel lifted and swoop that leg around so it comes to the outside. On your fingertips, I wanna keep the integration of the torso as I step the right foot up. And we find my squat. You can bring the back of your hands together. Drop your left shoulder on the inside. Fly the arms if that's interesting. And maybe reach your down. reach the booty back. I'm gonna lift my left heel and heel toe that right foot in right under my belly button and then root your eyes. Flamingo pose. That knee stays close to the torso. Nice deep inhale here as I exhale. The Urbhadrasana three. And step back, plant the palms. And jump switch. With root, your vinyasa. Getting too close to the couch. <sighs> Lifting the right leg. Circumduct the shoulder, uh, circumduct the hip. And reach up, maybe grab your ankle. Bring the right hand down. I'm just going to make that half circle on the sky and then I might hop that left foot in a little bit. Maybe come onto the tippy toe and see if I can find a nice pickup. Nice and easy straddle, and then find your squat. Nice deep inhale here. Maybe find your squat on that right leg. Find your flamingo pose. Reach the sits bones back, lift the right heel. Heel toe, step that left foot in to the midline. Find your lift in the perineal floor. Find your mula bandha as you root down through your left leg. And up. Breathing here. Dancing Shiva this time. Reaching forward with the heel back with the fingers. Exhale. In a three. Nice high lunge. And let's plant the palms. Don't sit 
once, jump switch twice through your vinyasa. Inhale, Cobra Up Dog. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Downward Facing Dog. Yeah. Reach the left leg. Open the hip. Find you more work today. Okay. Whoa, that's not what I meant to do. So I want to stay grounded through the big toe mount. Look at my hair falling out. Sky right on the sky, maybe hop that right foot in. Come on to your tippy toe. Oh. Keep your arms straight. Find your squat. Left shoulder comes to the inside. Try to straighten your arms. To keep that knee in closer to the side body. So let your spine elongate. That's what that does. That's what binds are for. Reach the six bones back. Hover that left heel as you heel toe the right foot in. And kick your butt with your left heel. Come on up to stand. The hips scooping under. Exhale. Dancing Shiva. Rear Vajrasana three. Take your time. Step it back. Find your jump switch. And through your vinyasa. Next inhale, just hover that left foot. As you lift your right heel, step your left foot up as far as it will go. It's probably only a couple inches. Maybe it's right under your belly button. Right leg reaches back, like Virabhadrasana three. Look straight down for balance. No need to crank your neck. And find your pickup. Take your time. Manasana, right? Reaching those right toes towards the wall, towards the top of your mat. Straighten your legs. Exhale, Virabhadrasana three. Right between your hands if you can on that left leg. Nice deep inhale here as you exhale. Dancing Shiva. Nice deep inhale here. Gardasana, right knee over left. Make a number four. Funky Ukatasana, keep your arms. And then setting up for Ekapada Galavasana. Snuggle those right toes around the left arm, plant your palms. Extend the spine towards the top of the mat as you bring your left heel towards your sits bones. Float it through your vinyasa. Hover that right leg and lift your left heel and just let that right leg come up as far as it will. Left leg's fear of adjustment three. If you have a natural split, you're welcome to reach it higher. 
right? Bring those shoulders over the wrists. Straighten your legs, each side's different. Left toes moving towards the top of your mat. And then Ira Vajrasana three on that right leg. Nice deep inhale here. As you exhale, woo, dancing Shiva. Your clothes are moving around. It can be distracting. Look at your fingertips. Garudasana. Left arm under right, left leg over. Akapada Galavasa. So keep the arms to set up your, your torso, set, or sorry, to set up your hips. Then, once you lay the ribs and the thighs, you can plant your palms on the floor, wrap your left toes around the upper right arm, bring the shin into the armpit, and just keep lengthening towards the top of your mat. Fly the right leg back, fly the left leg back for your Chaturanga Dandasana. Taking a few breaths. Yeah. Hover the left leg as you lift the right heel, step that left leg up. Breathing here. Try to keep the left leg in towards your chest. Virabhadrasana three. Take your time. Float the left leg back. Roll that inner thigh to sky. Right leg floats. Inhale. Find your back bend. Exhale. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Downward facing dog. So really, it's just stepping to the top of the mat and to the back of the mat in different ways. Right? Keep the breath easy. Hover the right leg, lift the left heel. Right leg steps under the belly button. Left leg to sky. Protract your shoulders as you push the floor away. Keep your tailbone towards your left heel and keep your triceps reaching back here we draw some three dancing shiva oh my torso is too low in that breathing here garudasana Ekapada Float that left leg back. Back bend. Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Push your palms straight down as you wrap your triceps towards the wall behind you. Let's see if you can get that hollowness under your armpits. And then allow your elbows to hover. Bring your forearms to the floor. 
interlace your hands, setting up for some lumbar shavasana. Very top of the head to the floor, so right at the top, not the side, not the back of the head. Shoulder blades to the sky, walk your feet in. Integrate the legs into the torso. And come on up. Shoulder blades to sky. Let's take a twist. So separate the legs. Right leg forward, left leg back. And just twist. Turning the torso. Scoop the belly in. Inhale back through center. Helicopter the legs. Half turn. And turning towards the right. Back through center. Maybe find a straddle. Feet back together. As you exhale, light as a feather. Keep your belly scooping in. Tops of the feet to the floor. Rabbit pose. Keep the head down, lift your shoulder blades. Separate your knees, hip distance. Scoop your belly in. And come on up. Unravel into stress. Exhale, take a moment in Vajrasana. We're just going to separate our toes. Slowly separate them. Move them. Manipulate them with your fingers and then bring your feet back down. If you have plantar fasciitis issues, this is going to be horrifying. So you're going to skip it. Um, if you want to mitigate, you can use two blankets. You can place a blanket under your toes like that, and that takes a lot of the pressure off. Or you can place a blanket if your knees have issues. You can place a blanket between your calves and your sits bones, and that will take a lot of pressure off as well. Feeling your feet, right? Especially with the weight on the heels. It's all good. If it's too much, you're gonna reach your feet away. And pat yourself in the back with the right hand. Grab your elbow with your left and just make some resistance and soften. Back of the head's in line with your sacrum. Step left arm out to the side, palm faces out, Gomukhasana arms. Nice deep inhale here as you exhale, you're gonna reach your arms forward, maybe pitch back, keep your belly scooping in. Just so you can keep your arms reaching forward, Utkatasana. Nice deep inhale here as you exhale, fold in Uttanasana. And come onto your fingertips and just let that right foot reach back. Keep the toes spread nice and wide. And walk your hands back, stretching out the transverse arch back and forth. And then step up. Spread your toes nice and wide, reach that left foot back. Walk your hands in, back and forth, big toe to pinky toe, so side to side is what I mean by that. And bring that foot forward, you're gonna spread your toes nice and wide. Nice deep inhale here as you exhale. Coming on down, Vajrasana, sitting on your heels. So Vajrasana variation. It's too much, reach the toes away. Pat yourself in the back of the left arm, make some resistance and soften. Reach that right arm out to the side, turn the palm up. 
Exhale, we're crossing the arms. Unwind, give yourself a little shimmy. Reach those arms forward. Use your core for you to lean back. And then as you exhale, you're gonna bring your knees to your chest, Utkatasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Walk your hands forward. Float that right leg back, standing on the left leg. Pick on up. Bring the right leg down. Virabhadrasana three. And float it back. Maybe step the right leg forward, setting up Virabhadrasana one. Nice deep inhale here as you exhale. Reach that left knee, reach your circumduct that left shoulder. And step it out, Virabhadrasana two. Take a moment. Stand in your Virabhadrasana two. Find that lift in the perineal floor, find the integration of the shoulders. Nice deep inhale here. As you exhale, let the left hand find the right and open it back out. Exhale. Exhale, inhale. This time as you exhale, pivot your back heel and find your twist, left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Drop your right ribs into the body and rotate more. Find a half bind as you exhale. Long Parsvottanasana. And then just step your left foot up. Setting up for Parsvottanasana. Come onto your fingertips. Arms out to the side. Roots to rise. Arms out to the side. Turn the thumbs down. Reverse prayer if that's available to you. Otherwise, knuckles together. Nice deep inhale here. Come forward and up so that you can feel your hamstrings. That's a half inch, that's where you are. Good, inhale, plant your palm, make more space between your legs if you need it, Parvrita Trikonasana. Drop your right ribs, roll the left ribs to sky, look up, lean back, lean back more. Exhale, frame that front foot. Maybe open that left knee out to the side, whatever you like to do. Maybe another pickup. Dhruva Vinyasa. Take your time. Inhale, cobra up dog. Exhale, Adho Mukha Shavasana, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the heels as you exhale. Let's bring the shins down. You're gonna reach that left arm out to the side and as you exhale, bring the arm through, thread the needle, walk the right hand forward. Reach back with your right heel float that right leg. I'm going to have you reach it out to the side, and maybe up towards your fingers. And as you exhale, twist behind you, touching the toes before behind you. Inhale up and over. Exhale, internally rotating as you find a twist with that right leg. Inhale, externally rotate the right leg. Exhale, bring it back. Find the twist. I'm going to reach the right leg back, right hand next to your face, left arm forward. Nice deep inhale here as you exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend, exhale, elbow to knee. Okay, one more time. Good, plant that hand down. Lengthen your tailbone towards the back of the knees and root to rise. Nice deep inhale here as you exhale. 
Right arm reaches behind you. Use your left hand to keep the low back long and hips forward. Good to rise. Switch your arms. Push that left arm up and around. Keep the hips forward. Root to rise. Come on back through center. Reach that right arm out to the side as you exhale, twist. Left arm reaches forward. Tuck those left toes. Going to externally rotate. Nice deep inhale here. Reach that leg out to the side. Exhale. Twist behind you. Inhale, reach it out to the side. Exhale, twist behind you. Inhale, reach it out to the side. Exhale, twist behind you. Reach the left leg back, left hand next to your face, right arm forward. Exhale, twist. Inhale, extend. Three times with your twist. Plant the left shin, roots rise, coming on up. Put your hands to lengthen the tailbone, keep those hips nice and forward. Shoulder blades lifting the heart. And reach back. Maybe let your hands turn forward and walk up towards your knee. Playing with well, you don't have to go all the way down because it's a lot on my thighs. Good, coming on up. Elbows right underneath the shoulder, setting up for some lumbar shots in the A. Remember, very top of the head on the floor, so right here, right? Shoulder blades to sky. Okay. The left leg back, right leg forward, twist towards the right. And a half helicopter coming through your straddle. Reaching right leg forward, left leg back. Twist towards the left. Back to your center, maybe straddle. Reach those legs to sky. Come in super tight. Make that easy. Maybe even through Bala Bakasa. Bring those shins down. Nice deep inhale here. As you exhale, find your back bend. Whatever you want to play with. And then come on up. You plant your palms. Uttanasana. That was a long way to get back to that. Folding your this time you're gonna float that right leg, keep the left leg on the floor. Maybe turn the hip out. I think we turn the hip out, didn't we? Oh no, we did. Uh, keep that leg back, lifting up. Your Bhadrasana one, try to step that left foot up as far as you can and float that right leg back. Oh, did we do bare middle side three? Sorry, I forgot. I mean, I know. <laughs> Breathing here. Nice deep inhale here. I'm gonna circumduct that right arm to open up to Vira Bhadrasana two. Pay attention to your feet. You wanna make sure there's lots of energy under the outside edge of that. Right foot. Nice deep inhale here. As you exhale, bring the right arm forward. Inhale, open, exhale. 
Inhale, open, exhale. Inhale, open, exhale. Pivot that back foot and find your twist. Bring it in here. Maybe find a half plank. Nice deep inhale here as you exhale. Unwind. Long Parsvottanasana. Step that right foot up. Root to rise. You want your hips to be forward. Exhale's out to the side. Turn the thumbs down. Belly button over the knee. Come forward about halfway. Or actually come forward as much as you need to to feel your hamstring. Maybe in the halfway roll. Nice deep inhale here. Maybe make more space lengthwise between your legs. I'm gonna use my left thumb to cut that hip back. Paritta Trikonasana. Scoop your belly and lean back. Bring it in here. Nice deep inhale here as I exhale. I'm gonna plant the palms. Now I'm gonna externally rotate that right leg. If you wanna pick up, take it. Just moving through a vinyasa. Take a moment to catch your breath. 57, okay. Maybe take about five breaths there. And when you're ready, walk your hands over to the right. Stretching out the left side, nice lateral stretch. Left hand forward, right hand on top, push down, pull back. Bring your hips right over the knees, reach that right arm out to the side, and as you exhale, thread the needle one more time, walk that left hand forward. Tuck the left toes. You're gonna lift the left leg and reach that leg over. Exhale, twist it behind you. Inhale, reach it forward. Exhale, twist it behind you. Last time. Left hand next to your face, reach that right arm forward. Nice deep inhale here as you exhale, twist underneath, union of opposites. right palm, tuck the right toes, lift that left leg back, maybe hop the right foot in, and pick up. Try to keep it held. And then you're going to bring, same leg, left knee into your chest, push into your palms, and bring that foot right next to your thumb. Virabhadrasana one. You're just stepping up. Right. Exhale, Virabhadrasana two. Inhale, here's your exhale. Let the hands touch. Inhale, open. Exhale. Inhale, open. Last time. Find your twist. Maybe pivot the back heel. Maybe fly the arm and maybe reach around. And if you like, you might find a bind. Okay. 
I just do inhale here. If it's interesting, you can step the right foot in and find a bound, art, uh, bound revolved Ardha Chandrasan, Baddha Parvrita Ardha Chandrasan. And then step it back. Full Baddha Parsva Konasana, Parvrita. Nice deep inhale here. As you exhale, bring that right knee down and draw back Ardha Hanganasana. Nice deep inhale here, and then as you exhale, if it's interesting, you grab your blocks and start to play with Hanumanasam. together. Find your Mula Bandha. Keep the engagement in the perineal floor and then just let your legs reach away. Just let the heels reach away. Belly button in and as you exhale, come on back and let's take um, pigeon prep. I'm going to roll that left knee out to the side. If you need something underneath your left hip like a blanket, place it there. I like a blanket if you use a prop more than a block because blankets are softer. Lock your hands in. Exhale. Inhale, lift. Exhale. And then twist, reaching that left arm across. Back. Let your sternum reach towards the top of the mat. Maybe look up. Come on back through center. And then, if it's interesting, maybe try Kanamanasana from here. From here. Nice deep inhale here as you exhale. Tuck those right toes. that right leg to the sky and do whatever you want. Maybe do some hip circles with that left hip. Just play with it. Nice deep inhale here. Exhale, come on back. Find your child's pose. Hands over to the left. Find a lateral stretch on the right side. Right hand to the middle of the mat. Left hand stacks on top. Bring the knees, bring the hips over the knees, left arm out to the side. As you exhale, thread the needle. Walk the right hand forward. I'm gonna reach that right leg back, lift the hip. Externally rotate. And internally rotate, just twist. Externally rotate, internally rotate. Last time. Right hand next to your face. You're gonna reach that left arm forward. Nice deep inhale here. Exhale, twist under the body. A few times. Bring the left hand down and tuck the left toe. And lift that up. Shoulders over the wrist. Set yourself up here. 
try to hold it for a moment and then draw that right knee into your chest. You're gonna push to the ground, protract your shoulders and step that foot right next to your thumb as close as you can get. Left foot comes down. Here we draw some one. Each side's gonna be different, right? into your Virabhadrasana Bhadrasana 2. Nice deep inhale here as you exhale. Find the hands. Inhale, open, exhale. Find your twists. Allow yourself to get in there. Fly the arms. Reach around. Fingertips are at your belly button. You can probably bind it up. Straighten the arms. Remember, you want to extend the spine. That's what your binds are for, really. Right? Lean back. Look down for balance. And if you want, Baddha Parvata Ardha Chandrasan. Step the left foot up as you straighten the right leg. And then lift the left leg back. Slow it back. If you're talking, it's way harder. Let me do that again. Jeez. Third time is going to be the chum. left foot to come down, lean back, look up, nice deep inhale here, as you exhale, unwind, maybe pick up if you want it, maybe, can't remember, I'm going to step that foot up, we will in a minute, maybe you're going to play with the Art of Hanumanasana, Maybe you're going to find your blocks and start to play with Connie Manasson. Hands under your shoulders. This is by far my harder side with Connie Manasson. I want to keep my left hip point drawn forward by rolling that inner thigh to sky. I want to be above the kneecap on that left leg. And then as I scissor the legs into the body, finding that integration, I'm really gonna hug it in and then let my feet relax. And that might get me down a little further, no need to force. All right, come on out, push into your blocks to come out. to the side, healing toe, the heel toeing that right foot towards the left wrist, or wherever I want it to be. Some people like to heal in towards the groin. Do what your hips need. Do what your side needs. Right? Each side, each hip is going to be different. Maybe you need a blanket on this side and you didn't on side one. It's all good. Walk the hands in. Nice deep inhale here as you exhale. Twist. Try to get the shoulder on the inside of the arc of the foot. Lean back. Lean here.
keep your left leg reaching the sky and do circles with that right leg. I'm going to bring it down. Inhale, extend the spine. Exhale, fold. And come on up. Or circles, or the stars. And exhale, samastiki. Okay, so that gives us a lot of options to play. Um, let's see. Connect to your breath. Maybe take your hands to your heart. Just feel the breath moving through the body. Exhale, root into your right foot. You're going to lift your left knee. Reach your arms out to the side, and as you exhale, fold over the leg. Interlace your hands underneath and reach out. Utjasa Padmasana. Turn them over the toes. Nice deep inhale here. Come on up to stand. Let the leg go. You can reach your arms out. And then reach that leg around, do some circles. Don't worry about how big they are. Ardhashandrasan. Plant your left hand. Come onto the ball of your right foot and find your pickup. Reach that right leg to sky and see. If you can do some giant circles, oh my god, it's so hard. Nice deep inhale here as you exhale. Step that left foot up. I'm gonna bring your right knee down and maybe play with Hanu Manasana. Leg was feeling like dead while I did that. Walk your hands back. that left leg back. Maybe reach back to the ankle. Kicking the foot into the hand. Woo! Check out your toes. Good. Full awesome child's pose. Knees to come a little closer, maybe come up on your mat a little further. So you can take one of your blocks and just kind of sit it pretty far back behind your tall side up. Right. Find your rabbit pose. Move the shoulders away from your ears, keep that belly scooping in a lot, really engaging your core. And then peel open to your stretch. And then maybe take a moment, letting those thighs get nice and strong, and stretch out those hip flexors. Try your hands to walk up towards your knees and see if you can place your head on your block. Root your hands down to come up. Oh, they a lot in the triceps. Bhagavajrasana variation is an easier way. See if you can reach your elbows forward, puppy pose, stretching out your triceps, let your chest drop. Good. 
yourself settle in the other hand to the heart first. Allow yourself to invite a calmness to the body even though a rest position. Although any position can be, right? It's part of the point of our practice. Nice deep inhale here. As you exhale, gently open the eyes. Draw that right knee in. You're going to reach your arms out to the side. And as you exhale, Hinge, maybe interlace your hands. Reach the neck, heel forward, elbows in as you reach the sternum over the toes. Lift the arms to bring the leg with you. Nice deep inhale here as you exhale. Arms to sky, keep the leg floating and giant circles with that leg go both directions. Doesn't need to be high. Arch and drops. Up to your thumbs, to the sky. As you exhale, let that right hand drop. Come on into the ball of your left foot. And find your pickup if you want it. And see if you can do giant circles with that right leg. Oh, like that. And then step it up. Ardha Hanumanasana, that might be enough. If you want, you can play with Hanumanasana. Gliding that left heel out as you keep that lift in the perineal floor. Lift up. Do you want each side needs? Each side's different, right? Good, breathing here. Child's pose. Walk up my mat a little bit. And bring that block behind me. Take a couple moments in your balasana. Come on forward to a puppy pose. Triceps down, pulling back those triceps as the chest drops. Walk yourself in. Here. Maybe you just want to work on strengthening the quads, and if that's you, this will do it. 
All right, you want to spend time here. Your quads are going to be on fire. You want to do those leg circles upside down or even just holding the leg forward or out to the side, standing up. Don't work those quads and strengthen your hip flexors a lot. with your strasana or a deeper back bend, kapitasana, you want to keep those hips forward. Next time, let's reach those hands back. You want to do kapitasana. I'm not going to demo that probably ever in my life. But you keep your arms straight. Oh forward to come up. So if your booty drops back, you're going to fall back. And if your block is in the wrong place, it'll be a surprise. It's hard to figure out where it needs to be. Let's see. Maybe it's like a any other back bend where you want it about a finger and an arm length away. I'll try that. Like if you were using a wall to walk down. I'm not going to go deeper today because I really haven't played with that pose in a long time and I just want to practice keeping the hips forward. But if you're ready to go to the next level, then you turn the block down and we'll try it once. And then you turn it down again, all right? what happens when your booty drops back? You can't lift up. <laughs> that was too deep for me. All right, nice deep inhale here. As you exhale, let's come on forward. Sphinx pose. Let your uh, right forearm come in, bring your left fingertips next to your hip, and you're gonna bend the left knee and just stretch out the quads. You work them a lot. And then left arm out to the side, anywhere between 12 and 9. Stretch out pectoralis minor. Pectoralis minor, reaching that right arm between 12 and 3. Back to center. Hmm. Check the time. Oh, 1.24, I was going to do something else, but save it for another day. One last Navasana, nice deep inhale here as you exhale, come on down. Number four, right ankle over the left knee, drawing that left knee into the chest. Let's practice my place that I definitely was not expecting today. I was expecting to do something else, but that's okay.
Bringing the left foot down, hips to the right, knees left. Back to center, left ankle over the right knee, drawing the right knee in. Left knees to the right. Back to center. If you want from here, you can go into your um, final relaxation. Breathing here. Make sure your low back feels nice and long. And before you drop in completely, take one hand to your heart and one hand to your belly. Allow yourself to feel the breath from lots of different directions, right? From what's touching the floor, is your sacrum, back of the rear shoulder blades, back of the arms, right? Maybe through the torso, heels, calves, back of the head. And how the breath feels in the torso, how it moves the torso. So it feels moving into your hands. As the breath moves you. Think of your hands like a weighted blanket, adding comfort, but also adding a little bit of um, sensory input. better witness. Outside of that internal energy becomes less distracting.
can just drift into easy breath. Relax your shoulders, relax your fingers. You might even reach your hands away. Let the eyes draw a little deeper into the socket as the forehead relaxes, the cheeks get heavy, maybe even pulling down towards the earth. Relax your jaw. Let your throat relax. Let your communication isn't as dependent on chatter.
begin to bring some awareness back to the breath, starting to be a nice deep inhale, exhale through the mouth. Start to move the fingers and toes, reaching out through the arms and legs. Exhale, knees into the chest. Maybe pick a side of the body to roll one, two, if that's interesting for you. If it's not, it's fine. Any way you like to make your way up to a nice comfortable seat. Maybe sit on your blanket. underneath the shoulders. These practices always surprise me because they have um, an organic element to them. So um, I hope it was fun for you. It felt fun for me. And hopefully I'll see you again. Maybe like and subscribe if this is an interesting uh, way to do your asana. And I'm going to end with Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. I'm going to end with Loka Samasta so you can know about one, two, three times. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti, one time. And one Om. Loka Samasta so you can know about one, two. Loka Samasta so you can know Thanks for playing along. Hope I'll see you again.